surviving members of the group so hey, we do have a microphone right here in the middle of the room so if anybody wanted to line up and uh, ask a few questions yeah. you have the honor of the first question all right so I was wondering what's the biggest negative response you guys have ever had to making one of your videos like from the public yes. when we we're filming it or like the, while the you're people on the internet it. while you're filming it while we're filming it like out in public, like oh. yeah, like responding to what you were doing. You know? Oh, okay. okay. For, for me personally, is when we filmed our um, our Final Fantasy video, and I was Captain Bash from Delmasca. Yeah. Which is crazy. It was nuts because I'm just saying hello to people and just giving them my name, which you would think wouldn't elicit a negative response, but everyone was so mad. I think it's because of how I was dressed, but maybe. The funny thing is, when we do videos, you would think. Common decency would like, uh, well, what am I trying to say? The, we do public skits sometimes where you think to yourself, like, oh my god, the cops are gonna come, yeah. we're gonna get tackled, well, there's time people where they're gonna mess with us. Like, we did a hitman skit. I killed, I killed him. Yeah, we were just walking around with putting wire around people's neck and like dragging them off, killing them. And everybody's just like, oh, all right, yeah, yeah. that guy just got killed over there. Oh, okay. I'm just going back to my phone over here, I don't know. But yeah, like Sean walking around introducing himself to people, or I think he did a video where he was ringing a bell, just like <laughs> had a little. Was ringing, like it's the stupidest stuff that people suddenly like. I'm not gonna stand for this. <laughs> There's no mortal danger here, but I'm gonna get involved. So it's the simple stuff that really irks people. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Hello. Um, in the Bioshock video, was Rocco actually eating some of that gnarly shit out of the bin? Okay, so we yes. do. Yeah, well, yeah. But most of that, well, that, that trash was, the uh, food was planted by us. Except oh, for the okay. lemons, that was all. The lemons was Rocco just grabbing lemon rinds. But Garrett, we didn't know would, there. Garrett would go over to the trash can and he would drop a paper bag of whatever food we wanted yeah. to eat in there and he would just you know, pull it out and eat it. However, yeah, in the video you see there is a family like changing their baby's diaper and Garrett went and planted the food cake. in the trash can next it to was them. A, it was a whole cake, so you couldn't put that in a bag. Yeah, and then he left. There. And there's probably like three minutes before Rocco could get back to the trash can. And in that time, they had dropped a bunch of diapers oh. into the garbage. <laughs> so I was talking to Rocco later after we filmed it. He's just like, there's shit all over the kitchen. <laughs> the, the dad who was changing the diaper was watching Rocco get the cake and was yeah. mortified. Yeah. Hey, Go back and watch that video. Grabbing like handfuls of this cake. Watch it again. These two parents oh. are like, oh, what? What? what's happening? <laughs> We only had one cake, so Rocco knew we couldn't do it again, so he had to eat the cake. Yeah, I think he got a clean handful. He says he ate in the middle of it, but it was just like shitty diapers all around the perimeter of the cake. The, the one that really gets me, and I know that we put it in there, was the shrimp. Oh, yeah. It looked so gross coming out of a trash can, yeah, that's one bad. by one going into his yeah. mouth. Disgusting. We, we were falling off around with a cooler of like ice and like bags ready to go, so we, he was fine. He said that he felt off afterwards because he ate like a smorgasbord of like the weirdest food like in succession. It was like nothing made sense. Uh, but yeah, uh, it was a good day. Well, it was great for me. Yeah, I mean, you just had to carry the food. I on just you. carried the food around. That was yeah, that was easy. That was brilliant. All right, oh, thank, thank you. you. Yo, what's up, guys? Hey. Uh, thanks again for dancing with me last night. I'm really glad I didn't have to dance by myself. Out of context, that sounds really weird. I know. <laughs> I know, but it, it was weird. All right, say no more. Though. What's your question? Uh, <laughs> like, what is your uh, favorite exec to work with now that you've added Reggie to the list? Oh man, they're all they're all pretty cool. But you know, I think we know um, Kojima the best. Like, we yeah. see him around a lot. But they they've all been. Honestly, we're so lucky. <laughs> yeah, it's so, so cool. hard to pick a favorite. You know, you know it's like lucky. your friends. Uh, but I always like working with. Cliff. Cliff Wazinski. Yeah. Because he's he's a really good sport. And he is 
always actively seeking us out whenever we go to uh, an event in San Francisco every year called Game Developers Conference and it's it's an award show it's almost like the Oscars for video games and that's usually why we get these big developers to be in our videos it's for that event and every time we go Cliff will message us and be like we doing a video this yeah, year what's going on this year like, just, no matter what the role put me in the video and it's like okay you're in <laughs> awesome thanks so much guys yeah thank yeah. you hey guys hi uh, I know it's not like a recent video, but I really like that uh, Firefall Goth video. Oh, thank you. Thank Dude, you. Like, thank uh, you. I was kind of wondering, like, what inspired you and how did you get them to actually go with that? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, well, basically what happened was they emailed us and said, hey, people are coming on and you can either do an improv thing or just sit there as yourself and play the game. And we have a little bowl of like questions and like, you know, you can like start debates or whatever with that bowl. And we were like, well, if we can just do whatever we want, we'll just like be goth. Yeah. Garrett was already, uh, he's always been a fan of goth music Garrett and goth culture. Insane. And I think at the time I was uh, kind of listening to some of that music that he was, he's already been into. And so it, there was just like a lot of goth in the air yeah. around the Mega 64 uh, warehouse. And what was funny is, yeah, we had like, couple hours to fill so it was very uh like a performance art yeah piece kind of weird we didn't realize what we were going to get into i don't think because yeah we, we knew it was going to be some time but like huge backlash on the internet oh, like, yeah. people oh, hated Either. it but you know it was like we went to hot topic the day before <laughs> bought whatever clothes we wanted and then just went up and they didn't really think about it until like the cameras were on like Oh, I guess we're just gonna go introduce ourselves and do whatever. At the last second, I had a costume, like, you know what, I'm just gonna be a normal guy. And just like not realize anything's changed. Well, what I really love about that, I wasn't there uh, for that, I was working. But I had, I watched it at work, and I could see that uh, Rocco, Derek, and Sean were like into it. But Garrett was like living it. it was, like, Garrett, that's like it's like a dream come true. That is seriously what Garrett wants to do, but like can't, can't bring himself to do. He walks like this fine line between like I'm a normal guy and like oh, I'm almost cyberpunk. Uh, I live with him, and he'll bring that up, like walking through the living room. Yeah, that Firefall video, man. That's, that was like a lot of fun. It's like it's like three thirty on a Tuesday, man. I'm not gonna tell you. So there you have it. There you Thank go. you, man. Thank Thanks. you. Hey. Hi. Oh. Hi. Um, Thanks. Thank you. Touch oh. anything over the tremor. Um, so, uh, when's the Gamer Girl Porno coming out? Oh, God, never. <laughs> what? <laughs> the Gamer Girl Porno? No, never. Is that something we talked about at some point? Did we? We couldn't have talked. Did we talk about that? Or did you, do you want that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I think, uh, you know, we don't usually make those kinds of videos. So. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. I think it's already out. Check Google. <laughs> so check Google. <laughs> where, where would you go? I don't want what's it. your site, <laughs> Eric? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I have a friend that I think has a crush on these three when it's gamer girls, the guy who's in this band. Uh, he keeps asking me like, yeah, you guys, so you guys like doing another one? Or like, where can I watch those old ones? And I'm like, oh, okay. You know that's like guys you went to high school with, right? Yeah, it's just like, I just think they look pretty good. <laughs> right on, man. Um, yeah, I got a lot of compliments. <laughs> Even with the chest hair. <laughs> Next question. Okay, um, I'm a uh, Japanese major at my school, and um, I know you guys do a lot of stuff uh, influenced by Japanese culture and work with Japanese people a lot of times, but I was wondering if you guys ever had any sort of thought or just you know, a passing uh, you know, idea that maybe actually tur taking some of your videos and getting them dubbed, maybe not like by a huge corporation or anything like that, but even fan dubs. I don't even think there's a community that does that, but is there any sort of, do you know anything, like any maybe any sort of interest on your part or a community sort uh, of thing? I don't think we have an interest in doing that on our end, but but our videos have been dubbed into other languages in the past. And, yeah, so uh, if you were just to go do it, we'd be all for it. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some of our videos dubbed in Russian. I think one of our videos was dubbed into Thai or something. We had a fan who was dubbing a lot of them in like Portuguese for yeah. a little oh, while. Cool. Yeah. So which is always if you want to do that, yeah, you're by you all have a blessing. Go for it. Go for nice. it. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. And if it doesn't happen now. I'm mad. <laughs> Hi, I'm just going to do that. 
<laughs> by myself. Hello. Hi. Hi. Back to the Game of Girls subject, but with no porn in it. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Game Girls at E3. How do you guys feel about it? Like, were you guys intimidated by other people? Was it actually fun? Oh, I hated it. It was not fun. <laughs> I, that was not fun. It was so awkward we and especially like once i got out of costume and i just had my regular clothes on and a bunch of makeup yeah. and i was like really sweaty you know, you know what was the i look like, gross the and worst part for me was we took turns so like i think derek went first and then rock went first i think i was last or something mm -hmm. but we would go into the bathroom and change and so i'm i'm in the bathroom <laughs> and like going to the stall and then like i'm putting on my wife's bra and like stuffing it with toilet paper and then like i have the shirt on and i come out and then like I'm in the mirror, I'm just like, well, I got put the makeup on, so I'm like putting the wig on, and then like, people in the bathroom just like washing their hands, like. <laughs> like, this is E3. <laughs> like, you know, no one cosplays to E3, so like, what are you doing? But uh, we did it pretty quickly, so I mean, it was awkward for about 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah. But uh, I feel no, like I hated doing that. I feel thing. like Rocco was in it like the longest, and he has no fear. Yeah, Rocco does. Rocco care. has no fear with anything. And you know what is the hardest well, thing? Well, that's not true. What is he? Oh, spiders? Blizzards? Yeah, he's afraid of plenty of stuff. But he's not afraid of embarrassing himself in public. That is not embarrassing stuff. Afraid of. And um, he, uh, yeah, God, it, it's like, Rocco will do things that it's like, you're filming him and he's like, please stop. Rocco, God, please stop. And he's won't. He keeps going and going and going and pushing it. So like, For me, the uh, most awkward thing is when Rocco was hitting on people. Oh, my God. <laughs> Trying to get a backstage pass and be like, yeah, we can go on a date later or whatever. I'll make it worth your while. It's just like, ah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so there you yeah. have it. Can we expect more Gamer Girls? You can expect more Gamer Girls, yes. And I can't say in what capacity. Maybe not a video. <gasps> Maybe not a video. Porno? But not uh, a porno. <laughs> well, not a video. Oh. <laughs> but I will confirm more Gamer Girls stuff on the way, coming soon. Awesome, thank you guys. Thank you. Hey. Hi, hello. So what's your favorite experience, whether you've had it like at a convention or while you've been filming your videos? Ever? Yeah. <laughs> That's tough, that is tough. You know, a recent one that comes to mind is uh, our last panel that we did at um, uh, PAX East and we did our podcast 300 and we had everyone dance to the awful Imagine Dragons song in place <laughs> like this. If you haven't seen it, go watch Mega 64 podcast 300. It's so dumb, but I had the best time just like running around the crowd doing that. It was awesome. That was a ton of fun. Just stuff like that, where like we're just doing the stupidest stuff. And everyone's having a good time and like getting along with us. And it's just I don't know. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. That and uh, game days. If you guys haven't gone to game yeah. days, going to Disneyland with like all our fans and it's like 300 people there and we're all going Indiana Jones at the same time or whatever. It's just a ton of fun. Yeah, we have a fan meetup in early November. So if anybody wants to go to Disneyland and hang out with Mega 64 and you know. Associates, feel free to come out. Yeah, I think game day is my favorite thing we do all year. It's yeah. a blast. It's like a weekend. Saturday is a big panel meetup, and then Sunday we all go to Disneyland and hang out at Disneyland. So it's a blast. I love seeing the. Uh, we do a meetup picture in front of the castle every yeah, it year. Gets bigger and, and bigger. watching it get bigger and bigger and bigger, and then having like a crowd of people watch us and go, "What? Is, what is? What are all these people doing?" Yeah, soon we're gonna be bigger than Goth Day. That's and right. Harry Potter Day. That's right. Mind eventually. <laughs> what? You. Uh, we did game days last year, and it coincided Rockabilly with... Rockabilly Day. Yeah, Rockabilly Day. There were too many themed days at Disneyland. There were, like, greasers pushing their broken cars in the parking lot. Do you yeah. remember that? They had all these old cars, and they were all old and broken, so they, like, broke down. They had to push them in, so it was, like, way to start your Disneyland trip, <laughs> pushing a car into the theme park. <laughs> so, thank you. There you go. Thank, thank you. you. Wow, you're on Dude, it. You're on point right now. On you're like this. the Neo of microphones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, with the Bookstore one, you mentioned that that was the second best video in existence. Do you yeah. your first best video? Yeah, our first uh, best video is actually on a DVD you can no longer buy uh, yes. called Mega 64 Time. Where is it? The uh, the one where you guys went to the anime con and sang Jock Jams? No. I, no, but that's a good video too. This that's, is a that's video. my personal favorite. You know what? This is like heartbreaking to say, but the the greatest video ever made wasn't even made by us. It was made by my dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our our forefathers made the greatest video. My dad video made a video. Made. <laughs> Best video ever made. So what was it? It sucks. It's it's the it's lamest. The, the it was the lamest thing I've ever, ever seen. He made it for some kids school project or something like that and it was just honestly it's an it was like embarrassing <laughs> it's, 
And so uh, we asked him, hey, Dad, can you put this video on the DVD? He's like, yeah, sure, whatever. My dad's cool with anything. So um, it's on there as the greatest video ever made. But it's called that because my sister, who was in the video, is like mortified. Like, she hates the video. She is like so embarrassed about it. And so we just kept pushing it and featuring it and just so uh, to embarrass her. It's mostly just to mess with my sister. That's cool. So we released it on a DVD and sold it. A majority of our things are inside jokes. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I have one more if that's okay? Absolutely. Sure. Okay, so what is the craziest thing that you filmed that had nothing to relate to your video? Like what, like what you guys were doing? Um, wow, good we, question. that is a good question. We filmed like fires, apartment fires and stuff. Just like, I, like it was down the street, like, well, I guess. <laughs> well, hey, all right, well, well, we live in Southern California where there are a lot of a fire lot of fires. storms. But if you think, like, we're like, well, we're passing it and we could film it and like have like footage for if we ever need this footage later, we can like throw it in the video or you know, whatever. So I guess, I guess film it. Like that kind of stuff we, we sometimes do. Is that weird that we do that? <laughs> it might be a little weird, but. If it's crazy though, it'll wind up in a video. We don't save crazy stuff for our own personal collection. Right. <laughs> Stupid. We put it up online. Exactly. Oh, Let thank the you. world see it. Thank you. Thank you. Howdy. Hi. 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 Uh, I was curious, uh, thanks Sean, earlier for doing that freestyle rap. That oh was, yeah. That was great, I've been asking people all day, you're the only one that actually rapped. How ironic is that? I, yeah, you're the only one with balls, it's all that it, all that, it is. That's yeah. absolutely <laughs> true. Balls. Yep. I have balls. <laughs> <laughs> balls. Got balls. Got balls. Got balls. I got both of them. <laughs> <laughs> My, uh, I was wondering, uh, Rooster Teeth is like uh, 50 or 80 something employees, is there ever any plans for Mega64 to grow or become yeah, bigger? Yeah, we're gonna get 81. <laughs> <laughs> One better. Right. Um, yeah, we'd like to grow it someday, but uh, I don't know, it's kind of, you know, we got a small crew and we've been friends for a long time. Yeah, it's basically a little group of friends and so we just have fun as, as friends. Like, as cool as it would be to branch off and have like 80 people, I think that uh, it works best for us right now just to have a core group that we have. Maybe someday. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Hey, guys. Uh, how has the con experience been with just the four of you? Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a nice. little lonely. No, it's it's kind of a bummer not to have Rocco and Gary it, here. It is. A, it is. It's a different. It's a different vibe. Um, but it's also like it's cool that they're over there doing their thing and we're over here. Derek was the one person who did both. Derek was at Derek's anime trial. Well. I am. He did one day there, did the panel there. Uh, AX is way weirder. Oh, I can tell this you that. This year, I'll tell you oh, that yeah. much. I saw uh, my um, my stepmom was going with my stepsister, and she showed a line of three hours to get your badge. So it's a very um, interestingly run convention. It looks like it's like not this. Uh, this is very smooth. This is smooth sailing. Do you like splitting up again happening in the future or? Uh, this is kind of a test and it's gone over pretty well. Like I, I know people miss Rocco and Garrett, obviously, and I'm positive people over there miss us. Like how could they not? You'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, I guess if two conventions coincide like they did this time, we might do it again and try it out. Maybe different grouping, a different pairing. We'll go to AX next year. That's right. Rock on Garrett will come here. No. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Eric thank you. loves anime. No. He loves. No. You love Fooly Cooly, don't I you? I was lie. honestly asked. Rocco asked me like, hey, we're, I think we're gonna do a split squad thing. Like, which convention would you want to go to? And I said, I think it's gonna be for everyone's best interest for me not to go to the anime thing <laughs> at all. Send me to Texas, far away from the anime. Where are the body it. pillows at RTX? Yeah, where are yeah, they? That's a good that's, question. That's what I'm wondering. We don't have them, and that's There's why I'm no here. anime body. You know what? That's next year. They'll have like a what's Barbara's character in Ruby? Yeah, okay. Ruby. It's Ruby. Nobody here knows. No one knows. Um, it, it'll have that. They'll have that body pillow. Uh, hi. I'm oh, wondering weird. since the Rooster Teeth and uh, Mega 64. Uh, combination videos were the highest rated on YouTube ever. They were the highest rated videos. Did we finally beat Gone Style? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Will you ever do another uh, combination video with them? One confirmed 100% yes. Mm -hmm. yes. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we came out to Austin to film those videos. We want them to come out to San Diego to film yeah. with us. Yeah, we filmed at their super nice studio. They should come to our crappy studio and see what it's really about. <laughs> they should rough it. Yeah. See how real videos are made. That's right. Real have, bad videos. Have real Mexican food. That's quit messing around. That's right. Oh, and everybody in here, please, get out to California and try some Mexican food. Yeah, no it's kidding. Delicious. California burrito. Thank you, sir, who had some.
<laughs> How's it going, guys? Good. I'm glad to see that we have the A team here at RTX. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So my the question, S team. The S team. It's above. A. It's above A. It's, it's above A. Oh damn. <laughs> um, so I was wondering what like the writing process is for the sketches and for like episodes of Mega 64. Do you guys like sit in a room together and just like pound out an episode, or do you guys just come in with the ideas that you already have in your head? Uh, I think it's both, actually. It kind of depends. Um, yeah. There are times where Rock was like, for example, the um, Elemental Kingdoms video is a good example. Uh, he told us before, like, hey, we're going to do a video for this. So think about ideas, and we'll meet tomorrow and do it. And then so we, we all met, and then we all kind of just started throwing ideas well, out yeah, there. Yeah, that's a great example, because with Elemental Kingdoms, we pitched a different, a very different video first. Yeah, we can see what it was. I guess it's not going to yeah. be it. Usually a company will come to us and they'll explain the game and we'll take a couple days just to think about it or look it up online and then we'll come together and pitch ideas. <clears throat> and originally for Elemental Kingdoms we pitched a very fantasy uh, inspired video where we actually were going through the woods and fighting these like swamp trolls. And then the company came back and, we're, and they were like, no, we don't, <laughs> we don't want that. We want something off the wall, totally weird, nothing to do with uh, the fantasy aspect of the game because they thought that might get boring or lost in the ad. And that was kind of uh, refreshing. And, and every once in a while, we'll get an opportunity like that where somebody just says, hey, go nuts. Yeah. And then in that case, it's whatever is in our lexicon, whatever we've been watching on YouTube recently or, or, doing on net, or uh, viewing on Netflix. Like I said, with the goth thing, we, we were just listening to like, some goth music. And <laughs> We decided to do that. exactly. Yeah, yeah, and for this, we just been watching a lot of like, like uh, America's TV craziest yes. gangs. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So we're watching that stuff, and so we're like, well, let's make our own. Like, it's always fun to try to like you watch something like how cool well can we rip this off yeah. and like try to get this perfectly done. It's not easy. There's a lot of uh, like pitching ideas, and then we all sit there quietly. There are, there's moments. It's just and then the person who pitched it would be like. Okay, fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> fuck it. Never mind, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hope I'm not overstepping, but like, I've I've been in the room where it happens where somebody bursts in and goes like, "We're doing this," and it's it's like a very exciting thing, and everyone's like, "Yeah, I'm behind it." And then I've also been in the room where it is like four hours of throwing a ball around and going, "I have no idea." And then we'll go to like a mall food court and try to come up with ideas, yeah. and then come back. Mall food courts are very inspiring. Uh, sometimes you just have to call it a day and come back. That that is the next day. Any yep. of you guys do? internet sketches or you want to whatever that is huge is to don't like if you are going crazy stop yeah you can't force home. it no, you can't no. force it yeah. there was a moment uh, I'll throw Garrett under the bus real quick yes <laughs> there was a moment that this yeah, was this is legendary forever ago this is like seven years ago now but we're trying when Killzone 2 was coming out right and it was like good graphics for Killzone 2 and that's like okay it has really good graphics we're trying to think of a video what? that was like okay what, what do we do, we do about do? really good graphics what do we do and then Garrett came in with this idea about it was oh poop. it'll be a competitor to call of duty yeah and so whoever's playing Killzone will go like pick up his phone and he dials it and like <laughs> it's like a piece of poop and get it answers <laughs> the phone get it call of duty it's like you got called by duty uh, it's a call of duty and then we're like oh. and we sat there and then he just kept repeating it like we didn't get it. <laughs> like this you know we can put poop on the phone garrett stop hey, garrett stop we're gonna go home. <laughs> We're not gonna call poop on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> but we've and uh, he's never been invited to another writing session. <laughs> yeah. But we've also had like these little bouts of inspiration. Like I remember uh, the Nintendo thing. Nintendo contacting us and going like, "Hey, we want to maybe do a video with you guys. Do you have any ideas?" And it was on a flight back from Pax East. From Pax East, yeah. And uh, Rocco was asleep on the plane, and he woke up in our layover for Denver, and he went, "I got it. I got it. We have we build a robot." And it's yeah. a Reggie robot. And it's like, uh, okay, we're gonna build a Reggie robot. And uh, we do have a third method. This is one we're real desperate. This is called the Beatles method. And this, and this is what they used to do too. We, I, we were watching the Beatles anthology and they talked about like, sometimes we would come up with the name of our song first. <laughs> And they were like, one time Ringo, we were, we were recording all day and Ringo was like, oh, it's been a hard day. And they looked out, he's like, night. <laughs> this is night time, and then they wrote Hard Day's Night, so <laughs> we were like, wow, great song. The system works. So, uh, I think we did a video called Claws and Effect. Yeah. <laughs> we thought the name Claws and Effect was a great video about Santa, Claus, Santa Claus, and then we just went out there and filmed it. Yeah. Beatles so, Method. Beatles Method, name first. And there's a video that originated with the Beatles Method that we still have never filmed. And I'm not going to tell you what it is, because I plan on one day filming this. But it's awesome. Actually, by now, it probably sucks. I can tell you the name of the video. No, do you want to? Really? 
Well, what is it going to matter? All right. No, no. All right. We'll save it. We'll save it. I mean, you can do it if you want. No. You guys want to hear the name of the video? Yeah. Okay. Someday, maybe. Someday, maybe. You may see a video called Dan's Cats. <laughs> I want to film there this video <laughs> so bad. Dan's cats. It, we wrote this in 2007 or 8, and we have not filmed it. We, we were filming The Wizard 2, and I remember talking about this idea over and over and over again, and I thought it was the funniest thing you guys have ever come up with. <laughs> it's brilliant. I love it. Uh -huh. I can't wait. I can't wait. You should probably, wait. It's probably never going to happen. happen so. Hardly, thank you. Uh, right, thank you. we got about 10 minutes left, so we're going to do lightning round. We're going to start speeding through these. Hey, so uh, 11 years. That's a long time. Yeah. Are you guys, are you guys tired? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If Mega64 was a child, it would have already gone to sixth grade camp. You, you, guys, cool. you guys look pretty tired. Thank you um, for that. Thank you. Have you had to expand the... <laughs> Mega64, if, if it was a person, it'd be in seventh grade. <laughs> Have you had to expand the area that you record in? Like, as it has it? Just think about like this crappy little seventh grader running around. It's like, <laughs> all right, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Lightning round. Lightning round. <laughs> yeah, we thought about expanding. It's tough. So, jeez. Uh, uh, what happened? Are you ever no. gonna shave your porn stash? Me? Yeah. Uh, I feel like. Um, my facial hair is like a snake's skin, and every once in a while I have to shed it, depending on how I feel. Sometimes I'll grow a beard, sometimes, very rarely, I'll go clean shaven. Usually I stick with the mustache. Uh, it's usually after like an emotional trauma, like I'm going through some stuff in my life, it's just like, I just need a new face. Whoa. Whoa, geez. Sorry. Whoa, we got, we got Sorry. real. It's real. Yeah, absolutely. It works, by the way. Yeah. Men out there, or women with facial hair. <laughs> Change it up, you'd be a whole new person. Why is the mustache such a point of contention? What do you mean? I, like, I grew it and it was like, what do you to shave that? And then you get that too, what do you to shave that? It's like, just let it be a mustache. I, I think it looks it. gross. I've uh, literally no. had people just look at me and be like, that's the grossest fucking mustache I've ever seen in my life. But that's okay, like you don't want to be that friends with those people. people. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Mustaches are weird. Sometimes they no. get too long. Bring them back. Oh, yeah, mustache get gets a mustache. No, have you seen Jeff from Achievement Hunter? I, no. Yeah, you know what? That I might haven't. be. That mustache is like three mustaches. That one's like a little. That's a lot of mustaches. Damn. Hey guys. Hi. What was the role that you guys were most terrified or ashamed of, like doing, or didn't want to enact it at first, but got talked into doing it? Um. I get talked into. You know what? Honestly, I get talked into doing a lot of things. <laughs> it's always rock and drag. Sean, trust me, it's gonna be funny. Yeah, it's going to be funny. I think I was like Blanco once, or I had to run around with my body painted green, like beating up some person dressed as Chun Li, and I was like, yeah. I don't want to do this. Surprisingly, but more so than that, personally, like we don't do this anymore. But we used to always like fuck around in libraries. Oh god. And I just like. Didn't want to do that. It's like yeah. this is a place of education, and, and you're supposed respect. to be quiet in the library. It's like number one rule, and we're being loud and like this is a good service. The library is a great thing, and we're like ruining it. Like <laughs> like jerks. Yeah, we would go into the library. We film this video where Rocco would just this book sucks. <laughs> like storm out. Or I think we did Dig Dug once, where every I was dig I was the guy from Dig Dug, and every time I would move, music would play. We had a suit rigged up with these speakers, and I went to the library and it's like. Dig, dig, and around the library. Hey, That's man. one of my favorite videos that we've ever done. I love Dig Dug. Really? I think the idea for that, the concept for it, is genius. This is the point of that video. Again, this is a video that's like almost 10 years old now. But uh, Derek freezes in a parking lot and it's just frozen there. And it must have, there's two cars who want to move, but they can't because Derek's there. It must have gone on for at least five minutes. And they just sat there. And started honking, and he wasn't moving. And then the camera started shaking because I'm laughing so hard. I have like tears like, streaming down my face because he's like still there. It's so good. Dig Dug's great. It's a good video. Watch that again. Go watch Dig Dug. Yeah, really. Thank you guys. Thanks. All right, if you are shooting in public, do you ever just have the fans that recognize you and are just kind of like walking around trying to be in the video? And not you know what? Like we used to get recognized a lot more often, and it's kind of tapered off in the last few well, years. Well, I think what happened was is uh, our fans are very intelligent, and a lot of times. We'll do something, I'll mess with a guy, and then later we'll talk to him, hey, can we be in a video? And he's like, oh yeah, hey, big fan. Like, 
But I had no idea while we were filming that he was a fan. I was a mess with stranger, and later I found out that this person knew who I was. So uh, I think they know now because a lot of times they go, "Oh, Omega Suchi Four, and like we're not going to use yeah, this. People used to call us out, but I think they've wised they've, up. They've wised up now. They just kind of let whatever happens happens, and they roll with it. And then afterwards, they'll either say hi or whatever. There was a guy where we filmed one skit, and uh, he came up to us and he's like, "Oh, just I'm a really big fan. This is great. All things like he like we filmed him and everything. And we're like, "Hey, man, this is a secret. Don't tell anyone. This is a secret. Don't tell anyone." He went on the forum right after we filmed it, and he's like, "I was just in a Mega Sixty Four video. Can't tell you which one." So we banned him. <laughs> now he really can't say which one. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank All right, you. lightning round. Lightning round. Uh, hey, Four guys. Um, I, I know a lot of people from the video game industry contact you to make videos. I don't know if you ever reach out. Um, we do, but they don't respond. Oh, okay. <laughs> the other week, I was actually at the South Texas Gamers Expo, and Steve Downs was there for uh, the voice of Master Chief. Oh. And uh, one of the questions was if he... Why does he do like community videos? Like, why has he never been in like Rooster Teeth Productions? And they said that he was never asked. So I don't know if you guys mm -hmm. ever ask people or if we, you want to get well, him in yeah, one of your actually, videos. Speaking of uh, voice actors, we got the voice of Duke Nukem to be in one of our videos. A guy ass. named Johnson. We asked for him. We found out he lived in San Diego, so we reached out to him, and he was such a cool guy. Yeah. Which video? Uh, we um, did a Doug Hug Doug Hug Yeah, it's a Christian alternative to Duke Nukem <laughs> called Doug Hug But he does the voice of that too. <laughs> Voiced by the same guy. Check it out. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. All right. Lighting around. Yeah, we're just going to get through these three people. Yep. All right. Bernie Burns, Rocco Bot, Ronald McDonald. You gotta kill one, marry one, fuck one. Go. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Bernie. Bernie. Okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna kill Ronald McDonald. Okay. And I'd marry Rocco because I know him the best. I would marry Rocco too. He's a, he's a nice guy. He's fun to be around. Yeah. He's got a lot of toys. Rocco's one of my best friends. So, yeah. his toys. Marry Bernie. Oh. Uh, I'm not fucking Rocco. <laughs> All right, I'm from San Diego too. I have to know, carne asada fries or a California burrito? That's tough. That's a tough uh, question. Carne asada fries. Really? Cal Cal no, for Cal me. California burrito. California burrito for me too. Yep. What about you? Carne asada fries. Come on. All right, all right. You have a place that you go to? Uh, La Vida's Chula Vista. Really? Yeah. <laughs> right on. He's in Chula. Yeah, that's fine. That's far away from us. He's right this is for no one else. Secret though, potato, sour cream, and cheese burrito. Dude. Try it. For sure. Or, uh, I'm not gonna take up this time. Lightning okay. round. Lightning <laughs> round. All right, the final question. Okay. Make it a good question. Everybody, Shh. eyes on this guy. Shh. Every, oh, Thank you. Okay. Turn Everyone towards look at this guy. Everyone look at him. How do you guys determine who does the stunts in public? Oh, you. <laughs> It's whichever one we think we'd be best at. 